path, face angle, face of path number. That's not fair. Maybe I should just stick the blades all the way through. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol the Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at Second Swing. We're at the Minnetonka location in the tour van, and today we've got a fun video. We are going to identify the irons that Thomas will play in 2021 and perhaps beyond. Um, for those that are watching the channel, following the channel, uh, they will know that he was, uh, you know, very gravitated towards the Callaway 2020 Apex MB from previous testing. Um, had played Cal irons in the past, and so now looking to kind of complete the set. Uh, and he's got the Apex MB kind of in the shorter irons are already identified. Now trying to finalize the longer irons in the set that he's going to combo the blades with. He's got two models in his hand that are going to be sort of the finalists. He's going to test them out today, identify you know the TrackMan numbers, and ultimately find out which ones are going to be completing the set. So Thomas. Uh, tell us about the models you've got in your hand and um, you know what you think about both of them so far and why they're kind of the finalists. Yeah, so I've got the Apex Pro 21s and I've got the Callaway X-Forge CB irons. So I'm a strong proponent for doing a combo set. So a combo set with my irons the last couple of years, I'd like to kind of break that up between where I start to kind of go at the flag and maybe start going towards the middle of the green. So last year, I made the switch at seven iron, so I played seven iron blade through pitching wedge. So seven iron, you just like go at the flag. Six iron and down, there's maybe a little bit more conservative shots. And also knowing that I need a little bit more forgiveness on those clubs there as well. So I'm still so torn. I've had the chance to hit these a few times with both the Apex Pro 21 and the, and the X-Forge CB. They both feel incredibly good. They both look incredibly good. But it's, it's, time to make a, it's time to make a decision, really. I, I've got to place my order for these clubs. Time to make a decision, so I'm going to go through a testing process. I'm going to test them out, compare the two, and I'm also going to add in the Apex MB with regards to numbers and kind of compare the differences. So I'm excited to test and finally make the decision. Let's take a look at some numbers. Yeah, so what are we going to look at here in terms of the format and you know, how you're going to fit yourself, essentially? Um, you know, how many shots we're talking about? And then, of course, maybe, maybe talk about you know, the specs in terms of 7-iron lot for you and then also the shaft as well. Yeah, I want to hit several, seven or eight shots with each club. Maybe I'll hit four originally, talk about the look and the feel, and then hit four more to, right. just to confirm the numbers. Uh, my golf shaft that I've always played has been the Project XLZ 6.5. I'm not going to change that up. I love that golf shaft. Um, so I already know that that's the golf shaft. So part of our fitting process, we definitely figure out which head you play and which shaft. I already know which golf shaft. So this is going to be really a head-to-head -head test. This is the X-Forge CB versus the Apex Pro 21. And we're just trying to figure out which one I'm going to go with. And they, they both are exceptionally good. So. Both of them have 33 degrees of loft on them. The Apex MB has got 34, so we should notice that club will just go a little bit shorter. But they both got relatively good forgiveness because they're you know, cavity backs versus blades. So I also want to make sure the club's workable, which both these models are gonna be as well. So I just wanna hit some shots and really figure out which one I'm gonna go with. Yeah, we're gonna get a kind of a, you know, a little bit of a sneak peek on what a fitting looks like at second swing. And of course, we are also proponents, like you said, of combo sets, uh, that's something you can do here in a tour event fitting at second swing. So, Thomas, are you warmed up and ready to hit some shots? Yeah, this is some shots. Wow. So, Thomas, that was four shots with, I think, the, the iron that you are convinced is going to be the lower irons in your bag, the shorter irons in your bag. Yep the 2020 Apex MB from Callaway. Uh, what, I mean, what do you like so much about that club? I mean, does it, is it the feel, is it the look? It's kind of, I'm sure it's kind of a combination of all those things. Yeah, it's definitely a combination. Now it's very sleek. Uh, it's definitely very blade-like. It is a pure blade to look down at. But the more important thing is the performance. For me, I know I'm not gonna get crazy flyers with this club. If I say, for example, pull it, or we can kind of look at this, this dispersion pattern right here, you'll notice I had one that I definitely pulled over to the left side here. It is probably 15 yards left. Yeah. But you'll notice that if you look at the carry distances, it was between 179 and 183 was my carry distance on all those four shots. Mm -hmm. So the three that were nice and straight were my good shots. Now I'm only human, I'm not gonna hit it perfect. But if I have a miss hit in there, if I pull it, I don't wanna get a flyer, 
I'm going to get more reliable numbers out of this particular club. And that's why it's a club where I want to go after the flag with. I know what it's going to do. I know what number it's going to go every single time. Yep, yep. There is just it's a little bit more consistency uh, in terms of the control and the demand of what a golfer wants uh, out of sort of a blade-like iron. And then, you know, the Apex MB, uh, the 2020 version from Callaway, it looks awesome, for one. Um, but then, uh, you know, the performance that you, that you mentioned there, it's almost like, I don't want to say it's a lack of performance because that's not what it is, but it's the golfer provides the performance more so in a blade-like than maybe a different golf club where a lot of performance is driven by the club versus the swing, which is where you get the added forgiveness and the high launch. But you're a player that doesn't need that stuff. So that's what, with this club, you're going to get, the, the ball is going to fly, you know, depending on what your swing does. Yeah, so. and I think also, you know, a lot of people will say, well, that's exactly what I want in my golf clubs. But not everyone will hit the middle of the club face every single time. This is a, this is a tiny little guy. This is pushing it. It's one of the smaller blades out there on the market, uh, if you catch it on the toe or the heel, you catch it fat or thin, you're going to get punished. Yeah. You're going to get punished pretty bad there as, as well. So you, uh, being a better ball striker and get away if I miss it a little bit, they're not still not going to be great. You'll notice I still missed that one pretty far left, but it went the same distance for me. And I know what it's going to do every single time with regards to my numbers. Yeah, so speaking of those numbers, these are just, this is just four shots. I mean, so it's more of a sample size, but I know you like to carry about 180 with the seven iron, and that's, you know, 181 here. Um, and so, and then you talk about club speed 87, I know that's right about where you're at. Uh, so that can kind of give us sort of a, a little bit of a, a standard to compare, you know, the two models that you'll be testing now. So um, got the club heads here in my hand. So this is Apex Pro 21 and then the X-Forge CB. Uh, you know, I think one of the things that we noticed right away, Apex Pro, they changed that look a lot. So the Apex Pro 21, it does have a little bit more of that blade appearance to it. Uh, there, you know, the Apex Pro 19 actually was kind of more of a cavity in it. Uh, it's, and now they've kind of made it more like, there, there is a little bit of a, kind of a line there of, of a bit of a cavity, but it's more of a blade look to it. So interesting to see how they went that direction, but there still is the AI built in there. Whereas the X4CB can definitely see that player's cavity look and then this kind of back plate here as well. So. The two irons in play for Thomas right here from Callaway. Uh, which one do you want to hit first? You choose. I, I don't have a preference. I'm I keep this I'm biased. I'm trying to make okay. sure I make All the right, right decisions. So. All right, we'll do, we'll do the newest of them first then, the Apex Pro 21. Okay. So as you are hitting shots here, and I, I mean, we're not looking at daddy yet, but what in particular are you going to be looking at uh, as maybe deciding factors? Uh, I know, you know, obviously look Yep. And what you look at at address is important, but in terms of TrackMan numbers, what, do you tr what are you looking for out of your game and what these numbers are? It's probably going to be spin. It's probably going to be the most important thing for me. As a 7-iron golfer, you'll notice that my spin rate doesn't really get crazy high. I don't want to have a club that all of a sudden is going to spin under 5,000. Because mm -hmm. two little spins are going to make it harder for me to stop the ball on the, gr on the green. It's going to go further, but I don't need to hit the ball further. I just want it to go a certain distance every mm -hmm. single time. So it'll be spin, and then it'll be dispersion. Dispersion okay. is going to be kind of important there as well. Okay. Yep. And then also look and feel is yeah. going to be very important there. And too. those, those are those things that are kind of almost emotional. Uh, yeah. That you know you can't, you know, golfer looks down at the club and just kind of likes it. That's just the way it is, and yep. that definitely plays into part. And I know the fitters at Second Swing always, you know, allow the customers, the golfers, to have that into the, the deciding factors of deciding which club is the best. Yeah, well let's hit some shots. All right, we'll do four here with the Apex Pro 21. All right, Thomas, four shots. The Apex Pro 21, I'll bring up both clubs so far. Um, first of all, club speed is the exact same in terms of averages, so that's interesting. <laughs> an interesting uh, note there. But um, you've got these numbers up, and you've hit the four shots. Um, any immediate takeaways, or wh uh, what do you think so far? Well, first, that one that is short right, that was a miss hit. And I think we'll probably take that one out when we look at all the numbers okay. and everything there, too. Um, so that's why the ball speed's a little bit closer to the Apex MB. But it's, because it's a degree stronger, I'd expect a little bit more ball speed with it. and expect it to go just a little bit further maybe spin a little bit less. But what's really interested me with this, and I also played the Apex Pro 19 for, for a few months, uh, a couple years ago. 
that model spun quite low. Mm -hmm. What's kind of interesting is that spin rate with this model is still fairly high. So that's important because I mentioned I want spin out of an iron. So that was kind of the big piece mm -hmm. right out of the way is the fact that the spin rate is almost the same as the Apex MB. Yep. Yeah, you can see over here, you know, we're talking about, what, 20 RPM based on four shots each so far between uh, the blade model in your bag. So that's in terms of the spin, you want something that's going to be a similar uh, transition, right? I mean, you're not yep. going to be having another 7 iron in the bag, but saying, you know, the, the spin characteristics of the club transition smoothly, um, you know, into the 6 iron, but without, you know, launching the ball way farther or anything like that. So um, anyway, now... Then we go to X Forge CB, hit four, and we kind of come back, do another four each, and then we'll see how the numbers stack up. Sounds good. I also kind of just say here, it did sound a little bit louder mm -hmm. than the Apex MB right off the bat. So I'm really interested to see the feel the difference between the, the X Forge CB as well. So I know the X Forge CB, when I've hit in the past, has always felt fairly soft with the face, okay. but I'll be paying attention to that spin rate for sure. We have four shots. You can bring up the map here and the numbers. We can definitely see a quick trend maybe emerging. Uh, now that was only four with each, and we'll have you hit four more um, with you know each the X4 CB and Apex Pro. Uh, you know you mentioned spin as one of the things you'd be looking at. Seeing the difference here between X4 CB and Apex Pro uh, already after four shots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, like I said, that right off the bat was going to be my biggest thing I was going to be worried about. Mm -hmm. And I have hit these kind of over the last kind of couple of weeks, and I did notice that the X4 CV was spinning a little bit lower. I wanted to make sure I kind of take a look at the numbers and compare both of them. But you can see right off the bat, we're separated by about 600 RPMs. It's quite a big difference. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the loft is the same. They're both 33 degrees aloft. So I'm kind of surprised. Yeah. Now, yes, I was drawing the ball every single time, pretty much, where I hit the ball a little bit straighter with the Apex Pro 21. So we'll get some more data. Yeah. Hopefully, I can hit a little bit straighter <laughs> this time around. But uh, one thing I do want to just kind of point out here too, and this is why I play blades with my shorter irons, the consistency on, the, on that mm -hmm. carry distance. Yep. Very, stands out to me right off the bat there. Every single time is kind of around about 180 yards. We notice how, yes, the X4CB is going a little bit, little bit further. We notice how, you know, miss it, and yeah. then the range notice is the circle is larger. There's a larger range of yep. uh, distances, I guess, that are you know, possible, right? Yep. Uh, so that anyway. first shot also with this club was also a very bad shot as well. Yeah. So I think you've so I yeah. think with each model you've maybe had one, right? The yeah. X Forge C B and Apex Pro. You've had I think this one here with X Forge C B and then you had this first shot with the Apex Pro that each of them probably, you know, I think you might take out in terms of an outlier and yeah. in you know looking at the data as a whole. But let's uh let's hit four more with each. Solidify the data and then we'll uh have you take a look at all the numbers. Sounds good. Well, Thomas, that's 24 shots now in total. Um, eight with each of the three irons we've discussed today. Um, I know, you know, looking at this quick map, I know you wanted to maybe take out maybe one sort of outlier from each. Yeah, we definitely have one clear outlier per club. So that's, let's take those ones out. So, you, yeah. Yeah, so you, can t you can just click on that shot and then let's just take it up, click the box off. So let's just kind of take that one away. One there. Maybe the, this one you think? No, uh, probably the short one. The so short one, one would be okay. the one that's clearly the, the obvious one, and then this one would be the one far to the left. Take that one away there, too. So now we've got kind of some really kind of interesting dispersion patterns to yeah. kind of talk about and, and averages, which is kind of really interesting to, to touch on. So let's, uh, let's first diagnose the differences and look and feel and sound okay. with, these, with these models. Yeah. Um, so we were talking the x Forge CB definitely sounds like it's a little bit softer. Yeah. Off, off, the, off the face. Um, definitely feels like it was jumping a little bit more, and we could definitely see that with the higher ball speed and the lower spin. Yeah, yeah, I think, and I could notice it just from watching and listening to the shots. 
that the X4 CB, maybe out of all three, but certainly compared to the X Apex Pro, had that softer sound to it, where it just was muted, didn't uh, it didn't register as much, you know, seemingly. Uh, so, in terms of that, I know that maybe you maybe prefer a softer feel um, as a um, you know as a better player. That's kind of what you're yeah. used to, that forged soft feel. Uh, but in terms of look, did you notice, you know, what is it, how about comparing the look at a dress, Apex Pro, X Forged, um, which one, you know, is there a preference there or what do you think? Yeah, so heel, heel to toe, the X Forged CB is just ever so slightly sleeker. Okay. Top line with the X Forged sleeve CB is ever so slightly thicker than the Interesting. Apex okay. Pro 21. Um, one thing I noticed, the biggest difference I noticed is it looks like it's a little bit more offset on the x Force CB. And then I just, the, the toe, for some reason, it's a sharper toe with the x Force CB, where okay. the Apex Pro is, the Apex Pro 21 is a little more rounded. And yeah. it's, it's really, it's, it's pretty obvious you put them kind of next to each other there, you mm -hmm. can kind of see. If you look kind of at the difference there, mm -hmm. you can kind of see. And then maybe the, the sole was just a little bit smaller also with the yeah. uh, Apex Pro 21 there too. But it's, yeah, it's, it, it's kind of shocking. Um, I honestly, coming in thinking probably 75% leaning towards probably X4 CB yeah. in my longer irons. But I've, I've done this testing for a few days now. I've hit, hit a lot of shots with, with each one. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing the exact same kind of trend going forward yeah. here. And I've got enough data here to, to trust what I'm seeing here are the numbers. Yeah. So you mentioned spin was one of the things that you really wanted to find out in this test, but also the dispersion. And you know, kudos to you for swinging so well. Uh, you know, your club path was near zero every single shot. Actually, average zero at the Apex MB, and then you know, we can scroll down here and see some of these, how your club path, and you know, all the face angle things like that were so near zero the whole time. Uh, so I me, mean, you're, you're 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 hunting the flag throughout the whole test. And then you can see the map on the left here, uh, just surrounding the center of the fairway, right at your carry distance of a little over 180. And then you can see the, the X4 CB, excuse me, just a little bit different. I mean, it was just, you know, you had a little bit less spin, kind of drove it forward a little bit more, a little bit farther. Yep. And uh, there's, I mean, clearly there's just a little bit wider. It's covering a little bit more ground. So, uh, I mean, now that's just what I'm seeing, but I'm seeing it's, the choice here seems to be Apex Pro 21 or even not a combo set. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you touched on the dispersion. I really hit the Apex MB so solid. Mm. The section of that one shot that I pulled, which also went the same distance, by the way. So we did take it out with yeah. regards to dispersion, but it did go the same distance. So kind of touching on the importance on getting a flyer or a pull shot that goes yeah. the same distance is definitely kind of important. Um, so you will notice carry on that one was 182.7. My average was 182, mm -hmm. so which is really kind of important. So, I mean, the question is, do I need to do a yeah. combo set? But I will. I will definitely in my longer irons. Um, maybe four or five. Maybe make that transition at six or seven iron. Okay. Definitely going to play a seven iron with the MB, and that's what I did last time around, and then yep. transition to the cavity back at a six iron. Uh, I was contemplating eight. I'm now I'm contemplating six. I don't know. I mean, there's something about a smaller club head that definitely forces me to hit better shots. Yeah. But knowing when I'm under the gun, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm outside and when I'm under pressure, uh, it, I might want just that little bit of added forgiveness there too. Mm -hmm. So I, it's probably gonna be four, five, six, and then seven iron through. Yeah. But I, yeah, I mean, I wanna touch on other numbers since we're doing kind of a club comparison here too, to talk about like the height. So if you kind of move a lot over here, kind of a big difference right there. You can see it's about 10 feet lower with the x Ford CB. So mm -hmm. for players interested in both these models, one thing you can kind of maybe take away is, even though I was maybe pulling it a little bit to the left, even that last shot was a little bit to the right, but still spin rate was a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. So even that one was going right, spin yeah. rate was 53.41. So I guess takeaway is x Forge CB, a little bit less spin, a little bit lower ball flight, where the Apex Pro 21, a little bit higher, just a tad more spin, mm -hmm. plenty of stopping power, and you know, I mean, it blends really well yeah. if you're gonna try to do a, do a combo set there. Yeah. For your swing and your, the way you're striking the ball, the Apex Pro 21 is just gonna blend better with Apex MB. The performance is actually very similar in terms of the, all these numbers. Height's very similar. Uh, you know, launch and landing angle are similar. Spin is similar. So that seems to be a very smooth transition there. Um, I think maybe the one 
con maybe, I guess in your opinion, right, it would just be that, that sound element, mm -hmm. um, where I think he maybe preferred that feel and sound of the X40CB, but the performance of the Apex Pro 21 seemed to kind of, for your sake and your swing, uh, maybe surpass the X40CB. It is, but I've got to keep in mind that the numbers, numbers don't lie. Yeah. Forgiveness in a four, for me, combo set, four, five, six, if even a player that's playing the seven iron, you know, I'm going to be playing a lot more wedge shots. My scoring shots are going to be from seven iron, going when I'm going at the, mm -hmm. at the flag, the war work workable, and that's, you know, more the shots that I play on the courses. I'm not going to be playing a whole bunch of shots with every single round with the Apex Pro 21s. Yeah. But mm -hmm. when I do have to hit them, when I've got to hit that four iron, when I've got to hit that five iron, six iron, I'm going to want forgiveness. And I can probably get over the fact that it just sounds just a little bit, yeah. har a, a little bit harsher off the hands. Now, it's not, not bad or anything like that, but I know performance is going to be there, and that's kind of mm -hmm. the, the most important thing. Yeah, ultimately, yeah. this was, uh, this fitting, this test was to get you the performance that you needed at the top of the iron set. So it looks like you've got an answer. You've got kind of a decision made based on this. Um, and I mean, not that there was any doubt, but you know, you're a very good iron player, clearly. And so, you know, you'll be hunting flags, I bet, all of 2021 and perhaps longer, depending on if this set stays in the bag longer. So. Uh, but golfers, I mean, this is a good indication of what, you know, you can get an iron fitting here at second swing. Um, and we absolutely are a proponent of the combo sets as well, as Thomas has alluded to before. Uh, and so we would love to have you in for a fitting. I know all of our fitters, uh, you know, they do hundreds of these every year. So um, come on in for a fitting. Uh, you can talk to someone like Thomas and get yourself to you know, hit some shots on our uh, technology here with TrackMan. And uh, we can dye in, figure out what you need for your game, and ultimately hit more greens and shoot lower scores. So that's the goal for Thomas, and I think he uh, is going to have found that here with the Apex Pro 21 in his bag. Yeah, this is a great test. Just validated my belief that I can go forward with these clubs.